So we're wrapping up week four of the Average Savage Training Program by Greg Knuckles. And what I'll talk about today is weekly undulating periodization. Someone here from wintrain.com. On this video, I want to talk about uh, weekly undulating periodization, uh, what it is and why I would use it. Uh, and then we're going to talk about the fourth week of training with the Average Savage 2.0 training program released by Greg Knuckles over at Strong by Science. Uh, like usual, I leave links below uh, so you can get the program yourself, as well as the Strong by Science website. Uh, great resource, uh, I consult it constantly. Uh, so here we go, talking about uh, weekly undulating periodization. First of all, uh, what is it? Basically, it's a way to periodize training so that you're undulating the sets and reps uh, week to week. Uh, there's another way to do this, which is daily undulating periodization, where you're actually changing the sets and reps day by day. Uh, but in this in this framework, we're going to be doing some weekly undulating periodization, and all that is is that uh, one week going to be focusing on five reps, the next week going to be focusing on three reps, next week going to be focusing on seven reps. Uh, and there's no real right or wrong way to do it. It's kind of just whatever you like to do. It's just another. Uh, tool in a toolkit so you can use that in order to address uh, how you like to perform your training. Um, keep in mind that with undulating training, uh, as a, the reps and the weight will have an inverse relationship, so obviously we're not going to stick at say 135 and do that at different rep ranges, we're actually going to be changing the weights as well as the reps uh, as those change. So as we increase the amount of reps, we're going to lower the amount of weight, and as we increase the amount of weight, we're going to lower the amount of reps. And that will help mitigate stress as well as uh, help us adapt and recover to those new to the previous stresses. So the goal behind uh, weekly undulating periodization is that we're able to play around with the stress recovery adaptation cycle in order for us to uh, stretch out and get be more effective and efficient with our training. And the the science shows that uh, undulating periodization is more effective than linear periodization uh, for both novice and uh, trained individuals. Uh, you get slightly, not to say that linear training is ineffective, um, what it means is that you get better returns with the undulation rather than the linear style of periodization. Uh, not to say that there's a right or wrong way to do things. I'm a fan of linear periodization. I really like that for novices just because it is simpler and easier way to get your foot in the door of training and you're able to develop that uh, baseline of training there. Uh, but with undulization, you are able to, as you get more advanced, um, you are able to play around with how heavy the weights are. You're not stuck in one uh, rep or you're not stuck in one uh, rep framework. So I'm not just training fives or fours or threes. I'm actually getting an exposure to each of those rep ranges, which does help build up a better overall baseline of strength and I think that's very important for everyone to develop uh, rather than trying to hyper specialize uh, too soon I'm finding I'm really enjoying being able to play around with high reps and low reps uh, as, as each week passes by I've had an exposure to each of the different rep ranges and it does help uh, make each week feel a bit more refreshing so not only is that the physical side of training training should still be fun and introducing that novel stimulus even if it is a change in reps uh, is still somewhat refreshing if you've done it for as long as I have. Uh, there is only so many things you can do so when we do start playing around with those reps each week seems new and it's kind of fun to just play oh we did five last week we got to do seven this week we're gonna do three next week so we are able to see uh, changes in that so I think that's a really nice way to introduce some novel uh, stimulus to the training. So week four is coming along awesomely. I'm really excited with where, with how the training program is progressing and seeing how my how I'm progressing along with that training program. Uh, within the framework of the program, I'm actually sticking within the rep ranges. With the way that the program's set up, it's giving my body time to recover from previous weeks and allowing me to kind of express that strength in the following week. So I think it's a great way that we're setting up this progression. Uh, I think week to week, is, is refreshing enough that I'm actually seeing some cool progress and I'm really excited to see uh, how much further this, this progression goes over the upcoming weeks. Uh, what I'll do now is flick over to some training clips and do some voiceovers. So one thing with the push press that I've been finding helpful lately has been to um, driving these out rather than think of driving them forward. Um, this way you're able to keep more balance across the entire foot. I've noticed in the past I've definitely shifted. Yeah, you can see there. I'll shift forward in weight. So something to keep in mind when you do the push press is to make sure the balance uh, stays mid midfoot. So balance 
between the heels and the, the toes. I'll mentally cue myself to put more weight on the heels just to prevent myself from coming forward on the toes. Um, and here with the bench press, I've taken a lot of that big powerlifting arch out of it, tried to stay as flat as possible uh, while maintaining uh, vertical forearms just to give my shoulders a break and get a little bit more range of motion. I have been including a lot more front squats uh, in my programming lately just to bring them up. Uh, I'm not a big fan of like ratios between front and back squats, but being able to front squat 500 pounds, sorry, back squat 500 pounds and only front squat under 200 pounds seems like a pretty big differential. So I'm trying to bring that front squat up. Uh, moving on here to some barbell curls. <laughs> not that interesting, but I did uh, learn about a new way to do barbell curls from Dr. Mike Isretel over at Renaissance Periodization. And that is to do obviously slow and controlled movements, but to maintain the same range of motion uh, week to week is to obviously touch the front thighs on the bottom. But then what I'm doing here is uh, touching my forehead. That way there's two definite points of contact and obviously try not to bring your head to the barbell, but rather bring the barbell to your head. And obviously that requires some slow and steady movement, otherwise you're gonna knock yourself out. Uh, but that does mean the same range of motion week to, week to week. So you can definitely make sure you're getting not only good range of motion and effective reps, but uh, similar reps that you can compare uh, week in, week out. And here we just have some barbell rows. Again, I've been trying to focus more on some slow and control movement, which means a lot of the weight has to drop off. Uh, very little uh, back momentum here, which is one of the reasons I've been trying to dial that weight down and get a bit better at execution there. Uh, here we have conventional deadlifts for the week. Again, focusing on keeping that weight over the midfoot, uh, making sure my heel doesn't come up off the ground. That's been a, a technical issue that I've been dealing with over the last couple of months. So I'm really over -cueing that by trying to think of putting my heels, having more weight over that. It, sometimes even thinking of picking my toes up off of the floor right before the pull. Um, that way I'm making sure that you're kind of overcorrecting so that you do stay in that middle of the foot there. At times you kind of need that um, over -cueing direction in order to correct it just to get back to normal. Um, and again, here we just have some close grip incline bench press. Again, the, the incline is great because it does remove any ability for you to shorten that range of motion just because you can't really arch that far. Um, a new variant of the lunge I found here is the Zercher lunge with the SS stroke barbell. I quite enjoy it because it is a, a hybrid where you can kind of get some spill over to strongman events where you're kind of holding a stone or holding anything in front of you carrying that up. Uh, the SSB is nice because the barbell doesn't dig into your biceps as a regular barbell would. Um, if you have that axial barbell, that's probably going to be great as well, just because of that thicker diameter uh, doesn't have that pinpoint on the inside of the barbell. Uh, just a little bit of a comfort factor there. Uh, but I do like these because you do feel them a lot in the, in the core and the abs trying to keep your uh, torso upright and just wrapping up here with some heavy pharma carries uh, having that hill is awesome for coming up but not so great going down uh, I feel a little bit more of the strain on the knee so I take it definitely a lot slower on the downhill um, but definitely try and speed my way uphill and that's just coming good uh, I don't recommend using uh, sh wrist straps for this I do like to make sure that this is a good grip exercise and focusing on strengthening uh, the shoulders and the grip there. And that'll wrap up the fourth week of training. Hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully that explained and shed some light on weekly undulating periodization. Like usual, I'll leave links below to get the program yourself. Fourth weekend, I think it's great. Uh, check it out yourself. It's very affordable and also uh, very versatile. Greg actually released some new updates, which is cool included with when you buy the original program. So. Uh, I might be changing the program. I might be breaking my own rules and program hopping, but I'm going to give myself a pass because I'm program hopping to an update of the same program. Like usual, I'll leave a playlist right here so you can stay tuned with the previous weeks as well as uh, make sure you don't miss out on the future upcoming weekly training vlogs and that final overview and rating of the program. This has been someone from Win Strength and remember, a better life through strength.